I'd like to call to order the Tuesday, November 5th, 2019, Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors. Certification of compliance with the open meeting law. The board agenda was posted on November 1st at 2 p.m. Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Roll call. All right, 23 supervisors present. Thank you. Approval of the October 22nd and October 29th journals. We'll take them together if there's no objection. Supervisor Hoffman. Thank you. I'm a little worried, Brian, your mic didn't go on. Yeah, not your fault. I don't know. We're having a little trouble here. Supervisor Glavin. Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Yours didn't go on either, so everybody's going to have to speak if they don't go on. Presentations. A formality, huh? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that little thing called voting. Okay. Uh, that's why I have a lot of people up here telling, reminding me. Okay, please push your... Are there any questions or discussion, first of all? Okay, now we'll vote, please. That motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. Presentations. We have none. Public addresses. There are none. Letters, communications, and announcements. I have two resolutions from the Outagamie County Board of Supervisors. The first urging the governor and legislature to research the outmigration of millennials per a report from the Forward Analytics Group. Okay, we'll refer that to Executive Committee. And the second. It's a resolution in support of pending legislation regarding publishing information related to utility aid payments to counties and municipalities. And we'll refer that to the executive committee also. That is all. Thank you, John. <clears throat> County Administrator's Report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening. Good evening. Last week, I presented the 2020 proposed budget. I will not be going over that again this evening. <laughs> Yes, applause is welcome. Thank you, Mike. Uh, again, congratulations to everyone involved, all the department here heads this evening. Appreciate the good work on it. I just have a few brief announcements. Next week, Monday, is Veterans Day. My dad fought in Vietnam, and I know we have a number of veterans who have served here in the room tonight. If you are a veteran, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service. Monday there will be some um, recognition and, and hopefully a lot of people thinking about veterans. I know at Rocky Knoll at 2 o'clock we'll be having a presentation there. So if your schedule permits and you're interested, you are welcome and encouraged to, to join people at Rocky Knoll. This morning Tom and I had kind of a nice way to start the day, I thought in particular, and, and we enjoyed interacting with a number of people at Road America. We were in one of their newer buildings. And it was uh, a day that Louis Gentine was being recognized by the Golden Eagles Club. It was and the Golden Eagle Award that he received as a former scout. And uh, we had a, a young scout talk about what being in Cub Scouts and Weebelows and Boy Scouts meant to him. 
and then we had a nice meal, and then uh, Louis took the stage and talked about what it meant to him to participate as a, as a scout. And I was so impressed with his presentation, uh, the remarks he made, the people he commended along the way that influenced his life, but obviously the values that he appreciated from being in the scouts. And, and he really concluded by saying whether it's Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, 4-H, you know, there's so many things that young people can do today, but these are really worthy programs that teach a lot about values and character and leadership. And, and so it was just a nice way to, to start the day. And, and as we were at the table, we were interacting with <clears throat> some individuals we had never met before. And it was also nice but to hear- But they knew one. us. Yeah, yeah. It was also nice to hear one individual from Keel talk about, gee, Sheboygan County seems to really have a lot of good things going. And just talking about all the, all the economic development here, uh, the work of the Sheboygan County Board and our team, uh, many of the new initiatives in place. People commented about the article that was recently in the Plymouth Review associated with Rocky Knoll. I mean, just, it just had a good feel for it. And, and it was clear to Tom and I that, you know, people are, are paying attention. We don't get a lot of coverage here, and I think county government tends to stay below the radar, but I think people are noticing and appreciating the good work that we're doing together. So it was, it was a nice way to start the day. Speaking of economic development, on your desks is an invitation to the annual Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation meeting. The annual meeting is going to be at Blue Harbor on November 13th. Everyone on the board is invited to this. So you're all welcome and encouraged to participate. You can bring a spouse or a significant other because we are a key sponsor. It's a $100,000 contribution from uh, Sheboygan County and of course many others, but uh, it is a gratis evening. So you're welcome and encouraged to participate. If you don't contact the SEDC office directly, you can certainly work with uh, Lane Bosman, my assistant, and, and we'll set you up. But from a standpoint of just interacting with a lot of wonderful people in the community and hearing some really good updates about good things happening. But that'll happen that evening. I know they're going to highlight some things we're involved in, such as the U.S. Customs Facility, Penn Avenue, apartments that are going up here, the work you've done to support Highway 23. Uh, candidly, the $22 million investment we're making each year to improve our airport, our roads, our bridges. Uh, we're certainly a key contributor to economic development, so I hope you can make it. Speaking of our airport, Matt Grenoble's here this evening. I think I mentioned Matt last week. He's the newest addition to our management team, obviously uh, works directly with Greg Schnell. Matt, if you could please stand and everybody, please put your hands together for Matt Grenoble. I mentioned, I think, at the WCA conference, Matt's uh, former boss from Waukesha County gave a presentation on the great work that they're doing in Waukesha and Matt obviously worked in Waukesha. He has a master's degree in aeronautical science, has strong credentials and we look forward to his vision and leadership at the airport. So welcome aboard Matt. And with that Mr. Chairman we can continue with the evening. Thank you Adam. Like you said we're having trouble with your mic so you're just gonna have to speak a little louder if you would please. Consideration of committee reports, executive committee, resolution number 16. Regarding transfer of interest in remnant parcel to Petrie Pubs LLC, committee recommendation to adopt. Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Are there any questions or comments concerning this? Seeing no lights, please push your I or nay button. The motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. Consideration of committee reports, finance committee. Resolution number 15 regarding designating office of the Corporation Council to represent the interest of the public concerning termination of parental rights, children in need of protective services, and guardianship proceedings, recommendation to adopt. Supervisor Glavin. Move to approve. Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Any questions or comments?
Seeing no lights, please push your I or nay button. Motion's also approved unanimously. Thank you. Turn it over to the vice chair. Resolutions introduced. Resolution number 17 from the finance committee. Regarding approving 2020 budget. Pursuant to Sheboygan County Court of Code of Ordinances section 5.06, A6 and 9, resolution number 17 will be considered for immediate action. Supervisor Damp. I vote to Thank you, Supervisor Damp. Supervisor Gearing. Thank you, Supervisor Gearing. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor of resolution number 17, vote aye. Opposed, nay. Motions approved unanimously. Resolution number 18 from the Finance Committee. Regarding levying and apportioning the tax. Pursuant to Sheboygan County Court of Ordinances, section 5.06, A6 and 9, resolution number 18 will be considered for immediate action. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Conrardi. Thank you, Supervisor Conrardi. Is there any discussion? Okay. Seeing no discussion, all those in favor of resolution 18, vote aye. Opposed, vote nay. A motion is approved unanimously. Ordinance is introduced. Ordinance number five from Planning, Resource, Agriculture, and Extension Committee. Regarding amending provisions of section 7305 and the floodplain zoning ordinance. Resol ordinance number five will be referred to the executive committee. Resolution number six from Planning, Resource, Agriculture, and Extension Committee. Ordinance number six regarding approving amendment uh, to comprehensive plan chapter 79. Ordinance number six will be referred to the executive committee and ordinance number seven from Planning, Resource, Agriculture, and Extension Committee. Regarding amending shoreland ordinance, town of Lima. Ordinance number seven will be referred to executive committee. Final item of business is adjournment. Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Supervisor Glavin. I, I understood I asked that same question at our pre-meeting, but because it's in our ordinance, it didn't have to have that second vote like that. We just did the one vote because of the way it's, on that particular item, it's set up that way. Thank you. But a good point. I asked the same question. <laughs> Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Everyone, please vote on adjournment. We are adjourned.